Today we're going to learn about resonator bells. So to open the box, we have this little button here that says push. If you have this box. So we push the button in, push in, and we lift the lid. And then we can see all the bells. If you close it, it shuts back. If you have this kind of box, there's these buttons right here. You slide them over and then lift the lid. And to make sure it's closed, you close the box all the way and slide them back over. This button has to be over this part or it's not closed. Now it's closed. Again, to open them, we slide these buttons open. And to close it, make sure it's connected together and then slide the buttons back over. When you open your resonators, you're gonna see lots of different colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different resonator bells. These two bells are the same note, but one is lower and one is higher. If you look at your bell, you should be able to see they have a letter on them. This one says C and it has the number one. The orange one is D. You can see the D and it's number two. This one is E number three. So we wanna make sure that when we put them back in the box, they go from biggest to littlest, just like this. And the numbers go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because they do have the numbers we wanna make sure they're in the right order for the next person. Also, when you open your box, you might see one or two mallets. Everyone say mallets. A mallet is the stick you use to hit the resonator bells to make the noise. You wanna hit the resonator bells with this part of the mallet. So, when you hold your resonator bell, you hold it in your hand and you hit in the middle of the bar. If you hit in the middle right here, it makes a good noise. If you hit over here, it doesn't sound very good. If you hit in the middle, it sounds really nice. When you're holding your bell, you wanna hold only this part. Don't touch the metal at all. Here's what happens if you touch the metal. Does it make a noise? Nope, it doesn't. If we don't touch the metal, we get a really good sound. So remember, when you're holding your bell, don't touch the metal part. Your teacher will tell you which bell to play, which color you need to play. For our songs today, you will take out only one resonator bell. Your teacher is going to tell you which color to choose. When we're done, we want to make sure that the resonators are back in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have the numbers on them, remember. And we wanna put our stick back the way we found it. So the big part of the stick goes by the little bell. See, it fits really nicely. And then we close it. If your box won't close, that means something's in the way. It could be your stick is in the way and we'd wanna move our stick. If you can't figure out why your box won't close, ask your neighbor first, then ask your teacher. When we're done, we wanna make sure that the box is closed all the way before we pick it up. This is the top of the box. We wanna make sure the box is sitting with this part on the top. This part with the little feet this is the bottom, so we wanna make sure it's sitting on the bottom like that. If we open it, we wanna open it and be able to see all the colors. If we open it upside down, is that right? Nope, not right. So we wanna close it, then turn it back over, make sure these are on top, and then open it. If you have this case, you want to make sure these colors are showing on the top. If it looks like this, it's upside down. You want to turn it over to where you can see all the colors on the top. Don't open the case unless you can see all these colors. 